What's up, Waxer Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Yep. You guys, today we have some baked, delicious nachos. My son made these, you guys. It's so great. Online. Homemade, delicious nachos. My son made this, you guys. I'm so happy, so thankful, so grateful. So we have yeah, some try it nacho, and we put them nachos. in the oven. He wanted them in the oven. It's still hot. We got some nachos with cheese on it. We got some ground beef. We got some onions in here, some cilantro. He seasoned it well. We have avocado on top, some tomato, and some um, sour cream. And then we also have some salsa on the side and some more sour cream. And we have lettuce on our bowls because we didn't want the lettuce to get withery. Exactly. And I'm going to try it out because I want to know how it tastes. Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're going to have to chill. Cause you just recovering, and we don't want all of your right now. We don't want all I'm of your hungry. recovery in this because thing, I'm okay? I'm recovering. And I'm hungry. But hold on, we don't want all your recovery I'm in this dish. My stomach is empty. So this wax with Alicia in the family, and we ain't came to play. We've been watching every day, day different foods, different ways. If you're new, it's crazy. People coming down below, don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because it's the wax squad. The wax squad. The waxo, waxo, waxo squad. Yeah. Okay, babe, go ahead and say grace. The loving Father, we come to you today. Give thanks for today. Thank you for, for what you have done in our lives. Thank you for our subscribers. Thank you for those who are watching us. Thank you, God, for your that for your meal that we are about to eat, oh God. Let it be nourished to our body. Sanctify and bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, babe. Amen. And so, oh, all right, let's try that with nachos. Oh, we top here. Oh, you guys, my mom is here. She came over here. She was supposed to do this with us, but guess what, y'all? She, she gonna come up. She gonna come up in here talking about some. Y'all was taking too long. I made spaghetti, so she already ate. She she had that plan, but I don't want that white stuff. Mom. Oh, you don't like white people? <laughs> Sour cream white citizen. stuff. You don't like white people? Eat the white, white stuff. stuff. Eat Sour the white stuff. Bro. I need that green <laughs> stuff. Sour cream citizen. Where does go past Ooh, the Eat the white stuff. stuff. You like white folks. Oh, I'm sorry. Green. <laughs> green white bread. <laughs> green stuff. All right, mommy, let me give, give me your plate. What about me? You last. You don't cook the food. It's yeah, you're I going to eat so you everything on this plate. Get... You don't want no meat? Just yeah. get it. Well, you, I don't have no just. I don't have just cheese. Yeah. All yeah. the cheese is in here mixed in with it. Okay, that's all it go. So you're gonna have to just eat everything here. Look okay? at the food. I do have more nachos over there, first. but I don't have no more cheese. So I'm just giving you a little bit, okay? You eat after, and then okay. you can get some of the chips over there. See the chips? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Elijah, um, yes, you can. Mm. There you go. Elijah, let me see your plate. It's okay, guys. I know it's okay. Guys. It's okay, guys, huh? Yeah. Girl? Here. Girl? Yeah. Yes. Girl? Yes. Oh, it's more than enough. Thank you. Oh. Uh, can I have the fork right there? Yeah. That okay. nobody's using. Mmm. I'm hungry. Well, I gotta use the salsa. You that hungry, man? You that hungry, bro? You that hungry, man? You that hungry, bro? Bro, 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 bro. Bro, bro, hungry. So happy Friday to everybody. Happy Friday. This video is going on Friday. Boy, you have my business. <laughs> Eat your nachos all up in my mouth. Mmm. That's good. Your food. I'm gonna put some of my mama's. What is it called? Nana's Creations, whatever it's called, on it. She didn't put a name on it. It is a name on it. Where? Oh, cilantro jalapeno. Welcome to mm -hmm. my familia. Bless the Lord. Bless it, Jesus. Mm. This is okay. I like Nana's sauce better. This is okay. Mmm. I'll cook a rock shot. What did I tell you? Yeah, the bee, the bee, the bee. Yeah, the nachos good. I mean, that's roach. Okay. But, then you're gonna start making nachos. You're out of style now. Mm. <laughs> you're out of style. Yeah, 
bread. You got just we you done? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna export it. And then I'll upload it tomorrow. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mama editing her video, y'all. So y'all check out Nana's channel. She got a new video coming out. I'm trying to teach her how to record and edit herself. Mm -mm. Why you come out of nowhere? I can tell you something. So Mila not doing the party tomorrow? I haven't heard anything from my caller, but she ain't. She's been a ghost. She's a ghost. I guess so. All that talk. She ghosted. Ghost talking. I don't think Jamila was selling a party. Yeah, you know, they don't want to spend that money. Because our guard going to cost you every bit of two, three hundred. Why are you going to spend the money? Now? That was going to cost every bit of two, three hundred dollars out of the garden. Why was it going to go? Get your bread, Nana. Get your bread. Get your bread. They call money bread now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, get your bread. Your dough is easy on the dough. Mm. Lord knows I need it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. This is more than your mouth. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Anybody eat? Okay. Eat some lettuce. Mm. Want some avocado? Mm -hmm. You want some more avocado? No, I just don't want the meat. We'll get some chips over there. And eat your lettuce. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's just good. Hand me that napkin, Monica. You guys, my daughter couldn't stay away from my husband, and my husband couldn't stay away from my daughter this week. So now, I'm nursing two people back to health. She got it? She didn't get what he got, but she definitely got contacts. Maybe. So now, yeah. Gotta watch what I say around her though, because she's dramatic and she will take it out of proportion. So I gotta watch what I say. But I told my husband yesterday, y'all, I said, babe, because he's used to he's used to putting her to sleep. So he goes <clears throat> he goes into her room last oh, night. Sit down, go. That's enough. Go down. He goes into her room last night, y'all, and he sits on the edge of the bed. And in 2.5 seconds, I hear him coughing. I go around the corner. He has on no mask. Nothing. He just cough. I said, get out of here. Get out of her room. You know, I've been trying to keep them apart, y'all, so that my husband can fully recover. And neither one of them listened to me. I go upstairs. Isabel, my husband was downstairs today. I go upstairs. Isabel is inside of my room, laying in my bed. This, Mind you, I'm not even laying in my bed right now. Because, first of all, the cover's got to be clean. Because my husband, he's been, you know, sweating the cold out. He's been sweating the cold out. He's been coughing and everything. So, I have not, like, done anything. I have not, like, did the room, like, fixed the room up and stuff and... All of that stuff. Like, I've been spraying Lysol every day, and I've been, like, wiping the bathroom down. But I haven't changed the sheets. I haven't opened the windows. I haven't aired it out. I haven't done nothing. So, my room is, like, off limits to kids. You know what I'm saying? They don't need to be in there. Mm. I've been telling Isabel all week long, stay in my room, 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 stay in my room. She went in there anyway. 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 And so, what it is is that... She's used to being around her dad. She's used to her and her dad being really close. So she couldn't like do what I was telling her to do and stay away from him. And he couldn't listen to me either. And so literally on day two of, of us finding out he was, he wasn't feeling well, Isabel started coughing. I said, I don't have, I don't listen, honey, I'm pregnant. Okay. I'm getting ready to have his baby soon. I don't want to be taking care of two sick people. Three sick people, four sick people. But listen, that's just, that's the nature of it when you have a family. But I said the devil's a lot because if he can't attack you, he'll try to come through somebody you love and have everybody spread it. So we try to have my husband spread it throughout the house. It's not going to happen. Mommy, my nose is 
Drink your lemon. That's good. So I got her drinking some lemon juice right now. Gave her some Tylenol. And I've just been having her take her medicine. I've been having her take her vitamin D3. But I think I'm going to rev it up with her with the vitamin D3 for her. And give her more vitamin D3 drops. And then I've been giving her elderberry gummies and her vitamins. I'm taking my vitamin D3. I told my son, make sure he takes his vitamin D3 every day. 10,000 IUs every day because you have to rev up that vitamin D3 when somebody is sick. I've been telling my husband to take his too. I don't know if he's been listening though. And then, mm -hmm. and then on top of that, I made like a elixir that has a bunch of like garlic and ginger and stuff in it. So my husband, he's been recovering fast because of the elixir that I made, he takes it every morning. You take it every night too elixir. or just in the morning? It's called an elixir because it's basically a concoction of something that you make. It's like a medicine, basically a liquid medicine that's like um, natural to help you recover. So that's what it is. That's why they call it elixir. And so it has garlic and it has turmeric in it. It has um, lemons in it. It has honey. Um, it has cinnamon. It has just a bunch of <clears throat> good things in it and it's been fermented in the refrigerator. So I made him like, I made three bottles. I've been drinking it every day because just trying to help myself, keep myself strong. And then I take my vitamins and then I have been having my husband take it too um, every day. And so baby, did you take it at night too? Because I told him take it in the morning, take it at night as well on top of the, the medicine that he's taking um, as well. Take it all together. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to make him some tea tonight too. I made this tea that had that helps with the lungs. So it has thyme, fresh thyme, ginger in it. And then I put peppermint tea in it. And I just let it simmer for like a good 20, 30 minutes. And then you put honey in that and you drink that. And then you've been feeling better from that too, right? I'm right. gonna make another pot of that tonight when I get done with this video so he could drink that tonight. And then besides that, you just stay hydrated. You stay very hydrated. You make sure you drink water. And so I got to rev up Isabel's hydration. I got to make sure she's drinking a lot of water because I don't think she is. So, yeah, y'all, this is the part about being a mom that really sometimes be like kind of stressful because it's like when people get sick, you're basically expected to be superwoman. You know what I'm saying? And like help everybody and, and make sure everybody good. And sometimes that's hard to do when you when you're pregnant, you know what I'm saying? But I'm grateful. I've been making it like I've been making it by the grace of God this week. Like literally. I've been floating on grace. I've been floating on grace, y'all. Literally. So I'm grateful to God. <laughs> Go ahead. Because I was wondering, y'all, I was sending Isabel to school with her lunch, and I was wondering the last two days to bring her lunch home. She, ain't, she wasn't really eating much of it. So now it makes sense. It makes sense why she wouldn't eat much of her food. Or why she ain't had enough time to eat. It makes sense now. All it makes sense. But the devil is a liar. We're going to soar right through this. The weapon might have formed, but it ain't going to prosper at all. And I'm just so grateful that my husband is back in the kitchen and he feeling better. God is good. And I'm just grateful for everything God is doing in our lives. Okay. I'm grateful because it could have been worse. Yeah. Could have been in the hospital right now, so I'm happy he's at home and he got to come home. Cause somebody didn't. Me? Yeah. Yes, we do. So now you're fine. And Isabel, she gonna bounce right through it <laughs> because I told her she is. I said, no, you're not. You're not gonna be up in here sick. You gonna whatever that is. We gonna cut that out right now. And you're going to bounce back through it. Sit down. You're going to bounce back real fast. Mm -mm. Go to the bathroom. 
get off, get off the couch thing and go in the bathroom and do that. Yeah, I tried to talk. I should listen. To no, baby. Here we go. I said you gonna bounce right out of this because I'm gonna bounce right out of it. It's not. I'm not. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing it. We're not gonna have 15 people in one house sick. No, we're not doing it. Mm -mm. The devil's a liar. Maybe that's why the house is, 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 um, is cold. That's why. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know what it is. The devil thought he couldn't come through me, so he wanted to come through my husband, but it's not going to work. It's not going to prosper. Mm -mm. So, yeah, y'all. Let's go. Eat your lettuce. Eat some more lettuce. Okay. So, that's what we had today, y'all. We was tearing these nachos up, weren't we? Yep. I'm pretty sure my son going to take this down for lunch tomorrow. Uh, it's good. He's going to have his future? No, he's done. But it was good. It was real good. It's all that's not just on the side of the bucket of paper. Why? It's the last bubble. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-